Ako, may, 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 may criticism ako, kaya magagalit, ha? Ang dami yung undersecretaries. Ang dami yung assistant secretaries. Ang dami yung general managers. Eh, you know, ako, uh, we, you know, you mentioned the recruits. Ako, I minimize expenses, not at the expense of manpower, but I get the people that I really need. In fact, siguro sa Red Cross, ang nagpapatak mo lang yan, apat lang o limang tao eh. The rest is uh, nakukommunicate namin yung kwan. And besides, another suggestion, I'm sure Senator Amy will suggest this. This is the era, like I said, there are no borders. Uh, yung inyong throw dito sa social media, do sa, uh, like, you know, I, 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 uh, I was thinking of having a, uh, uh, an international Red Cross channel like Al Jazeera because we have all these volunteers all over the world and we can now broadcast anytime there's a disaster. Madali kami makakuha ng magre-report. In the Philippines, madali kong makakuha ng nagre-report. Alam ko kagad na nanganak yung isang uh, Solomon Islands na inaalagaan namin na may COVID at uh, nanganak ng baby boy din nila sa PGH. Maganda yung story yan. Uh, pero makikipagbadyahan pa ka tayo para lumabas yan. And that's something you can put up, di ba? Because very grateful yung Prime Minister ng Solomon Islands. But that's not the point. The point is you really have to choose where you want to fight. You cannot spend all your money uh, in so many things. Senator Marcos, you have a comment? Yes, may dagdag lang ako. Kasi sinabi nga ni uh, Secretary Gor ni Senator uh, Gordon, eh, yung gastos ninyo, kung analyze yung budget submitted, yung uh, personal services and MOOE, nasa 1.4 billion. Samantalang yung budget ninyo, 1.5 lang. So 100 million na lang yata natira. Parang ganun. Kaya na... Ako nagtatawa na kasi puro sahod at saka MOOE. And we are talking about engineering and we are asking you to focus on engineering sana. Doon tayo gumastos, tutok tayo sa engineering. Isang tabi mo na yung mga development, academy, yung DEBCOM, yung mga kung ano-ano. Tutok muna tayo doon sa pamimili ng equipment. Eh kaso mukhang tutok tayo sa sahod. Tama po kayo Mr. Chairman. As a matter of fact, uh, doon po sa aming ginawang uh, proposal na isinabit po namin sa DBM, nandun po lahat, uh, Mr. Chairman, yung aming request for the upgrade of equipment of PTV, IBC, and PBS. And just to tell you a, a, a short story, Mr. Chairman, I was just in Region 10 where I am the Cabinet Officer of Regional uh, Development and Peace at um, nakausap ko po yung Regional Director po ng DepEd. Uh, meron po kaming more than 1 million students po. Alam po yun ang Senator Subiri dyan po sa Region 10. And uh, right now, during the time of the pandemic where we have the blended learning, only 20% of the 1 million students ang meron pong access sa internet. Now, ang problema po, Mr. Chairman, uh, PBS, aming uh, Radio Pilipinas doon, ay sira po yung transmitter dahil, dahil nga po sobrang luma na po at hindi po nag operate Number two, wala po kaming uh, presence ng uh, IBC dahil sira din po yung transmitter. Ganon din po sa PTV. Mahina din. Wala din po kaming presence doon sa Cagayan de Oro. So kung uh, ma-approve lang po yung aming request, ay eh, masosolve po natin itong problema na ito na 20% lang yung may access sa internet by having broadcast facility, ay eh, mararating po natin sila, Mr. Chairman, yung well, more than 800,000. That's point. You can ride on that. And ang point natin, if you prioritize, you can ride on that. And I'm sure it's Senator Marcos, Senator Go, Senator Sibirius from Mindanao, and all of us here, we want information. That's the key. An informed citizenry is a, an enlightened citizenry. At kung hindi natin gagawin yan, eh talagang puro tayo uh, forma, pero walang, walang bato.